Mm. Okay, folks, so I wanted to share with you this very, 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 did I mention very extreme Vanda propagation right here. As you can see, there is nothing but stem and roots. That's it and that's all, folks. There is not even one single leaf on this Vanda. Now, please note that this is not a suggested propagation method by any means. Normally, when we are propagating a Vanda, it is required that you have at least about three or four sets of leaves. And the only reason why you're seeing what you're seeing now is for the simple fact that I had a very long-stemmed Vanda that did not have any leaves on the bottom portion of the Vanda. So therefore, I decided to go ahead and cut it away because it did already have enough roots to sustain itself and for the simple fact that this would not cause any harm to its livelihood. But instead, what it would actually do for the Vanda is it would allow it to be better maintained and also alleviate the risk of it being harmed during windy conditions thereby giving the Vanda a better chance of throwing off an offshoot or a keiki. So this in fact was done in effort to keep the Vanda in good health and also easily maintained. But instead of throwing away what appears to be a hopeless cause, I decided to go ahead and situate it within the foliage of my garden and continue to care for it as normal. And lo and behold, about two months later, not only were we able to find one new growth of an offshoot or a keiki, we were actually able to find two new growths. How amazing and awesome is that? That keikis would form off of this simple stem portion right here. And although this wasn't intended to be an extreme propagation, it indeed became one showcasing an orchid's extreme want and need to survive. Okay, and here we are folks. I have another Vanda that as you can see is quite leggy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you exactly how to cut away for maintenance purposes, of course. And I'm gonna show you how I do it and how easy it is. So the main rule of thumb whenever you are cutting back a Vanda, regardless to what the purpose is, is that you wanna ensure that it has three sustainable root systems. So make sure it has three decent roots on it and I'm actually going to give it just a little bit more. I think I am going to cut it right here folks. So therefore as you can see it has a good amount of roots and the sanitizer for our cutter today is going to be bleach. And here we are ready to cut. That easy folks. And let's go ahead and put some cinnamon on that wound to assist the wounds to dry. And then we'll go ahead and attach this Vanda onto its hanger and we'll go ahead and hang it right back up and there it'll hang with the rest of its Vanda family. And as for this cutting right here, we'll go ahead and put it back within the foliage of my garden and we'll care for it as normal and we'll check on you later, buddy. So in about two months, we'll give it a good checkup. And also as a suggestion, whenever you're propagating, cutting back your orchid, or perhaps just need to encourage some roots on your orchids, why not make some homemade aloe vera water and water your orchids with that? Because indeed, this has hormones that encourages roots and also growths on your orchids. Voila and Ta-da, folks. So the next time you need to cut back a leggy Vanda, why not keep that cutting around and take care of it as normal? And who knows, you may be pleasantly surprised. And there you have it, folks. I do hope you liked this video and I hope you learned something new from it. And if you did, please be sure to like, share, and also subscribe. And make sure you turn on that bell notification button so you guys will know exactly when I do post a new video. Also join me on Facebook and Instagram under My Orchid Adventures. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys later and I'll also grow with you guys later as well. Bye-bye for now. Mwah.